Last week, the union representing more than 100 employees of the Morton Salt Company in Inagua expressed extreme frustration over outstanding pay. But that's not the only issue facing workers as they're also waiting a legal decision to be made regarding overtime pay as well. President Jennifer Brown and Vice President Adrian Lightborn say they're both at their wit's end about what they term the unfair treatment the workers continue to receive from the company and the government. It has been over three years since the workers at Morton Bahamas have received a general increase. The company is trying to force the hands of the president and the secretary general to sign the industrial agreement, an agreement that has, agreement that has not been completed. The Bahamas Industrial Tribunal is, we feel, procrastinating with the matter between Morton and the union. We have put a case to them, and it's next month, the 3rd of March, will be a full year since we have gotten any ruling on that. It has been a long time now, and all we're doing is crying, crying, and it seems that it is landing on their affairs. The union leaders claim they have made numerous attempts for the Minister of Labor and National Insurance, the Honorable Shane Gibson, and the Labor Department to resolve these issues, but to no avail. As a result, they're now calling on the Prime Minister to intervene. The Bahamas Industrial Manufacturers and Allied Workers Union is an affiliate of the Trade Union Congress. Union Secretary General Tyrone Rock Morris says they fully support the BIMAWU, claiming the employees have been treated unfairly for many years. It seems as though once you are a foreigner in this country, you can get away with anything. As I understand it, except for providing some form of employment down in Nagua, the Bahamas government and the Bahamian people aren't benefiting in terms of taxes for all of the salt that leave this country.